Hey everyone, Jeffrey here. Uh, I know the Nernst equation is something that bothers a lot of people because it seems very complicated. I'm here to try to make it as simple as possible in the shortest amount of time. So to get started, the Nernst equation is for one ion species. You know, in a normal cell in your body, it's going to have a lot of different ions. Sodium ions, potassium ions, chlorine ions. We're only looking at one ion species with the Nernst equation. So let's get to the equation itself. It's uh, EM, which is the membrane potential, is equal to um, RT over ZF times the log of the inside concentration of that one ion and the outside concentration of that one ion. So the reason why it says membrane potential right here is because we're assuming that this cell only deals with one ion. So if I'm, on I'm only looking at uh, sodium, I'm only looking at potassium. And what this means in physiological conditions is that um, your RT over F value is going to equal to negative 60 millivolts. R and F are both constants, and then T is your temperature at physiological conditions. So that makes your um, equation a lot simpler. So it turns into EM is equal to negative 60 millivolts over Z, which is your charge, times the log of your inside concentration, um, and then your outside concentration. So uh, Z, uh, so for example, if we're just looking at uh, sodium here, which is um, uh, plus one charge, this is going to equal negative 60 over plus one is equal to negative 60 millivolts, right? So um, that makes the equation very simple. Now, if we're just looking at log, log is calculated in orders of 10. So what that means is log of 10 is equal to one, log of 100 is equal to two. And uh, Think about it in this way where log is counting the number of zeros after a 10, so after a one. So if you're looking at um, right here, 10, um, it's going to equal to one. And then log of 100 is equal to two because there's two zeros, one zero, two zeros, right? And then don't forget what this means is that the 100 refers to the relative concentration. So if we're looking right here, the that means that the relative concentration inside um, is going to be 100 times greater than the relative concentration on the outside. So I hope that explains the Nernst equation for you. Um, I'm going to talk about the goldman hodgkin katz equation real quick. Um, this is essentially the Nernst equation, but looking at multiple different ion species. So Vm, which is the voltage of your membrane, is going to equal to your fractional conductance of all your different ions. So the major ones in this equation and the major ones in physiological conditions um, is, uh, you know, your potassium, your sodium, and your chlorine. So what it's looking at is it's looking at, you know, the fractional conductance of your potassium. So your, your conductance of your potassium over the total conductance, which is basically your um, K plus your Na plus your Cl together. So that's what makes up the fractional conductance. It's basically the conductance of one ion over the total amount of conductance through the entire cell. So what this equation is saying is that when you have a cell, you have a potassium channel right here. You also have a sodium channel and you also have a uh, chlorine channel. When you're looking at the Nernst equation, you're only looking at one channel. So you're only looking at, um, say, the sodium or oh, potassium channel. So what this does is that it's a much um, more representative um, function in terms of trying to calculate um, what exactly is going on inside of a cell uh, with the ions that you're looking at. And these EK, ENA, ECL, those are all from the Nernst equation that you can calculate um, when you're you know, isolating your potassium, your sodium, and your chlorine. I hope this helps, and have a good day.